Hey guys, I'm Chad with Teacher's Corner. Today I'm going to go over a little bit more advanced operation that you can do with our Word Search Maker. Recently I've been getting a lot of um, messages on whether or not you can do hidden messages or hidden words in our Word Search Maker. Well, it is possible, but it takes a little bit more work on your end. And I'll show you how to do it. And I'm going to tell you up front that some people, once you have all the words hidden, some people are going to want only 10 letters left over for their word. And that word is 10 letters long. That's going to be very complicated in doing it. Although it might be possible, it's going to be very complicated to do that using our word search maker. Now, if you go along with um, the message you want being 10 letters, but there could be um, and it'll be the first 10 letters, but there could be 20 letters left over. Um, if you're willing to do that, then the hidden message will work fine. So, and it's pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over showing you how to make a hidden message in using our word search maker. And again, hidden messages are having the letters that are unused, the letters that are not circled in the crossword being used to form a special secret message. So here's what I'm going to do. I've made one for summer. I've put in all the words. We'll call it summer hidden message. In the instructions, I'm going to put find all the words, then place all the unused letters in the blanks below, starting with the first unused letter. So what I need to do now is I need to come up with a with a message. I'm going to call it um, We'll call it, my hidden message is going to be, have a great summer, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do shift and an underscore. And I'm going to do this for once for each letter, and then go back and put spaces in between each one. So I'm going to go H-A-V-E-A-G-R-E-A-T-S-U-M-M-E-R. -E -E and then I'm going to put a couple exclamation points after it. And then what I want to do is start all over, put spaces in between each one. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this like this. I'm going to put double spaces in, um, in between each word so that it looks a little bit better at afterwards. But I'm going to do that on the other shot side. It makes it a little bit easier. Now, I've gone in and I've put all these words in, and I want to have a word search that has the least amount of letters afterwards that is possible. So what I want to do is I want to reduce the dimensions so that we can fit all these words in and have the least amount of, of letters left over. So what I want to do is first find the longest word from all of my words, which it looks like it's going to be watermelon. Count the letters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can't go below 10 by 10 because then we wouldn't be able to fit in watermelon. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. I'm going to reduce our rows to go 10 by 10. And let's see. Now, when it when our algorithm goes through and it tries putting all of these words into a square, it's going to try and fit all these words into a 10 by 10 square. If it can't do it, it'll error out and it'll tell you which words it can't fit. If it errors out, go ahead and try and resubmit the puzzle. Redo the puzzle with the same settings because it's going to randomly try again and put words in different places and it may be able to fit them. It may not. So let's go ahead and try a 10 by 10 which is about as crunched as we can get. I'm going to go ahead and generate the word search. And look, oh, that's a lot of words. In a 10 by 10 puzzle, it's having a, a tough time putting all of these words. Let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and try again by hitting refresh. And I'll reload it. And yeah, it's looking like 10 by 10 is just too tight. It's just too tight to fit all these words. We got down to where we're losing five words, and I'm going to go ahead and look at the, the answer key. Now, if we look at the answer key, first, let me count how many letters we need. We actually need unused letters. One, two, it's going to be one, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, about 16 letters. So this is not 16 letters left over. So let's go ahead and just make it a little bit bigger anyhow. So I'm going to go in and do a 12 by 12. Now these hidden word searches, they will take a little bit extra from you and we're still missing two words. I'm going to refresh it to see if we can fit those words in. That uh, still doesn't like to refresh a couple of times. And again, this is all random. So I, I just keep refreshing the puzzle using the refresh button at the top of the page. I know you can't see that because I accidentally cropped it out. But it looks like I'm always going to end up with two words that can't quite make it in. So I'm going to go back to the form just by closing this window. Go back to my original form. I'm at 12. I'm going to go to 14. Getting it a little bit bigger. See if we can fit in all the words this time. Ah, it fit them all in. So. Now, if we look at the answer key, this is a lot of leftover letters. Do I want that many letters? Let's go back and try 13 by 13. Again, this is up to you. I could, I could have left it there and just used the first 13 letters for my word. Right now we have one word, that's pretty good. I think we might be able to reload this and it's still, every time I'm reloading, it looks like one word not gonna fit. Reload again. It's right on the edge. This is kind of how many letters I want, but it's looking like each time I reload it. Ah, there's one. Okay, I'm at 13 by 13. I finally got it to where it fit all of the words in. None of the words were dropped. So now I'm going to go in and put, I'm going to keep this puzzle. So I'm not going to refresh it again. And I'm going to do have put a couple extra spaces in here. A, G, R, E, A, T, S, U, M, M, E, R. So have a great summer is the message that I want to put in here. I'm going to turn on the answer key and notice how all the words are, are now in here. I want to go to the first one and put H, change it to H. Change the next one to A, V, E, A, G, R, E, A, that's already T, S, U, M, M, E R. So now I've changed the first 16 letters to have a great summer. The puzzle, you may or may not be able to figure that out. Um, I could have tried making it smaller once again and adjusted this and it's all going to depend on your words, how many words you have will produce how many letters you have left over. Now I could keep going if I want to make multiple multiple um, messages, I could put another message by, let's make it on, put it on another line. Have a great summer. We, if I wanted to put, we hope to see you next year, I can add all those in and then just continue. And then once people, once your kids find all these words and they've crossed them off, then they can just go one by one, filling in the letters to find out what their secret message is. I hope that this has shown you guys how it can be done. Yes, you're going to have letters left over on some of these. Um, some of them will be so tight that you won't have letters left over. Or you can put in extra secret messages as you desire. Like I said, um, this one, I could add another one, say we will... W I L L S E E 
Y O U N E X T Y E A R. So we will see you next year is turn on the puzzle, find the S U M M E R and then find the next letter because E R and then W E W I L L S E E is already there N E X T Y E A R So now if they take the first 30 letters it will say have a have a great summer we will see you next year that's the secret message so i hope this helps explain how you can make your own hidden message using our word search generator then i would just obviously go out and print the puzzle and then print the answer key and that's how you can do it remember everything in here is editable if you want more room for lines just put in an extra Put in your extra lines, or if you want your spaces to be bigger, just put an extra underscore for each letter. Does that make sense? You can do whatever you like in here because you will make the puzzle. You can go back and change everything. I mean, obviously, if you wanted, um, if you wanted this to be scrambled, if you wanted the first 24 letters to be scrambled, just scramble them beforehand and then put them in as the first 30 letters. That's how that all works. Just wanted to show you how to do the hidden message. If you like it, please go ahead and like on the button below. Hit subscribe if you want to see our future videos that come out. Um, I just wanted to throw this one up because I've been getting a lot of questions lately about how to make hidden message uh, word searches. So if you like it, let me know. We uh, will make more if you like them. So. Thanks a lot. Thanks for supporting the Teacher's Corner. And uh, as of now, have a great summer. Talk to you later.